Good afternoon, it's Brentley here from Huckabones. We're gonna continue our segments on Don't Be That Guy, where we show you how not to be that guy. Today we're gonna to look at tongue weights and your trailering load, so stay tuned. All right, so what we're gonna look at today is tongue weight and also your hitch height. So we've purposely set this trailer up to have a high front tongue on the trailer, low back end. Again, why you don't want this is your weight transfer. Whenever we do load this, you'll see, we're gonna use some scales later on and what that will change with the hitch weight to your truck and the safety and towing. Along with now your back end is lower than your front and going through any dips and dives over any curbs, you have the potential of dragging the back end of your trailer. After that, we're gonna level this out and show you the weights that way as well and what that changes. All right, let's go over some weights, where we're starting uh, and then where we want to, what we wanna achieve with tongue weight. So this is a single axle trailer. It is a 3,500 pound axle and because it has brakes on it, it is rated at the th full 3,500 pounds. From there, this trailer weighs 1,214 pounds. So what you need to do, just to understand what that sticker is on the side of your trailer, your gross is always gonna be the most you can put on that trailer, including the trailer weight. So we've got 3,498 to be exact, 3,500 pounds, let's say, less 12, 14 of trailer weight. That'll give you a 2,284 pound payload. So we can put 2,284 pounds in this trailer safely. What we're gonna talk about is transfer weight or tongue weight. Manufacturers will never talk about this because again, depending on how you load your trailer, and that's what we're gonna show you today, is that can fluctuate greatly. So what you wanna achieve is 10 to 15% tongue weight. And in saying that, that would mean 350 pounds to 525 pounds is what we wanna achieve on your tongue to your truck. What we're gonna be loading today is an RTV X1100, so full cab machine from Kubota. That machine weighs 2,370 pounds. In starting, we are actually overloading this trailer. Because we only have a payload of 2,284, we're putting something on that's 2,390. We're gonna show you how that tongue weight of the 350 or 525 is gonna allow you to actually load that heavier machine and not have 3,500 pounds going to the wheels. All right, so the first test we're gonna to do today is we're actually gonna unhook this trailer, we're gonna hook up this scale, and we're gonna see what tongue weight the empty trailer actually puts towards the truck whenever one, your hitch is too high and not level like it should be, and then comparing it to level position. So we've started the simulation, we've unhooked the trailer from the truck, we've put it back to the height that it was at on the truck. We had 18 inches on the front, 11 and a half on the back for frayed to ground, just to incorporate that angle that it was. Again, 10% to 15% tongue weight and the trailer weighed 1,214 pounds. So you'd want to have anywhere from 121 pounds to 182 pounds of tongue weight. We are sitting at 174, so we are in the limit that it would tow fine empty. Now we're going to drop it down to level and show you what the difference is of tongue weight just with the trailer empty. Whoa, go up a bit. Up a bit. Whoa. Check the back. Yeah, that's it. That's level. All right, so what we've done is drop this down to 14 inches overall on the front and back. This trailer's sitting level. It only changes by two pounds. We're sitting at 176. We were 174, so not a big difference going down the road empty, but this is gonna change drastically when we put weight in the trailer. All right, so the next test is gonna be loading the RTV on the trailer. We're gonna move it all the way to the front where we see a lot of people you know, load their machine and just strap it onto the front or tie it on with their winch. And then what we're gonna do after that is move it to where it should be on the trailer centered. But for first, we're gonna move that RTV on. We've got it hooked back up to the truck to load it safely. We're gonna put some blocks underneath the back just as using them as a stabilizer jack at the back so our back end doesn't pop up on the truck. And then load it. We'll do those two measurements again. We'll move the machine and do those two measurements again.
right, so second test is we've got our trailer height where we were on the truck at 18 inches off the ground is the frame at the front, 11 and a half at the back. We got our RTV all the way to the front, how a lot of people load it. And what we're putting to the tongue right now is 605 pounds. We wanted to be between, for 10 to 15% of this overall weight, we wanted to be between 350 to 525 pounds. That's your 10 to 15% on 3,500 pounds overall weight. So we're definitely above. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop it to ride height at 14 inches if you were level, and we're gonna see how that changes. That's 14 inches. All right, so we have the RTV all the way into the front of the trailer. We've got this trailer sitting level now at 14 inches front to back. We're now sitting at 635 pounds of tongue weight. So we've gone up 30 pounds of tongue weight by leveling this trailer out. And if you think about it, what that means is that 30 pounds now went to the back if you were riding too high. So again, that's on the back axle, that's at the back of the trailer, and that's what creates fishtailing is when you're not proportioned correctly. So this is what we want to try to achieve and avoid. The next step is going to be we're going to move this RTV to centered of the trailer of where you should be positioned when trailering and when strapping down and see what that tongue weight gets us. Because again, we want to be within 350 to 525 tongue weight to the truck. All right, so the last test here, we've moved this RTV back 12 inches, which again, doesn't seem like much, but having a 12 foot trailer with a 10 foot side by side allows you to do that. If you come in and, and we hear it all the time that you want a six by 10 trailer because you got a side by side, because the side by side's only, you know, five and a half feet wide, and it's 10 feet long. Again, with having that 12 foot long trailer, this gives you the ability to move that load where you need to for tongue weight. If you just had a 10 foot, again, you're gonna be all the way at the front and you're gonna see that drastic tongue weight onto your truck as well. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna lift this back up again to how we had it at 18 inches high, whenever it was you know, unproportional, that it was high in the front, low in the back, the trailer. And then we're gonna drop it down to 14 inches, riding level, and see what that tongue weight does now with this machine moved back just 12 inches. Go ahead, go up. You want the first one at 18? Yeah. All right, so we've got the scale hooked up. We've got the machine back 12 inches centered on the trailer. We've got this trailer up 18 inches off the ground as if it was on a, a too high of hitch. And this has changed to 394 pounds of tongue weight. So again, we are in the spectrum that we want 350 to 525, but look at how that changed by moving this back 12 inches on your trailer. We were at 605 the last time we weighed with this all the way to the front. So we've changed 210 roughly pounds of tongue weight to your vehicle just by moving that machine 12 inches a foot back. Now we're gonna do it at the 14 inch level ride and see where that rides out. 10 and a quarter. And that's 14 there? Yeah. Just a hair under 14. That's your weight, Scott and the shocks. Yeah. All right, so we've dropped this trailer down 14 inches in the front. We do have the consistency of measuring the front at all times and this giving us a weight that is is pretty fair to the last test where it was all the way up. We were 30 pounds difference. We're only 25 now. Again, heavier whenever it's level to your truck, but that's sitting right that that weight isn't to the back now. We are at 420 pounds of tongue weight. We want to be between 350 and 525. That's pretty smack dab of where you want to be for trailering. So that's maybe 12% in quick math of tongue weight with this machine in the center of the trailer and your hitch level on your truck. All right, we're gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you for staying tuned for this whole thing. It was a lot to do, but it was really neat and interesting to see the difference in just moving back 12 inches of, of your bike or your side-by-side -side and creating 200 pounds or over 200 pounds um, tongue weight difference of just doing that simple thing. So again, what we were looking at today is tongue weight and transfer weight with having one, your load centered and two, the proper hitch to have your trailer level. So again, this trailer was level at 14 inches on the front. We kept that for the consistency. Do note on the back end, whenever this weight was on it, we could drop down to 10 and a half inches from 14. So we lost three and a half inches in the back end and that's from tire squat and your springs compressing. So again, if you started the other way at 18 inches and we only had a, a 10 and a half, you're now sitting you know, roughly at seven inches of clearance at your back end uh, uh, with having that high in the front and low in the back. 
instead of leveling it out and having a few more inches of clearance. So do note that, that's one of the safety reasons. The other safety reason was again, transferring that weight. Again, approximately it was 25 to 30 pounds in having that machine all the way forward to center and having the hitch high versus level. So again, that weight transfers to the back. Whenever you have too much weight past the axle or behind, that's when you're gonna see fish tailing or uncontrollably at higher speeds that it will you know, kind of take your vehicle where it wants to at the right speed. So this all helps. Brakes helps on this machine. It gave us 3,500 pound gross. We talked about that at the start. We had 3,500 pounds of, of gross weight the trailer weighed 1,214 pounds, so that gave us 2,284 of payload. So 2,284, we said that we were gonna be overweight because this machine weighed 2,370, and that's a difference of 86 pounds. But what we did achieve by putting the tongue weight on and measuring this, of having a roughly a 420 pound tongue weight whenever it's level and whenever the machine's centered, that actually gave us only 3,164 to the ground. So now we're actually under by 336 pounds of weight going to the ground through the wheels. And that's what anyone's gonna measure if you do get pulled over or if you are putting weight on your axle, that's what you're measuring. So this was the test of saying, can I load a heavier machine than my payload shows safely? And the answer is yes, uh, with the right hitch and putting it on the trailer in the proper spot. This was the lesson today about tongue weight and also your hitch height and having a level load. So don't be that guy.